Hey there, lads and ladies of the internet. Listen, I got some pretty good stuff here in this teeny tiny itty bitty Ziploc bag. Now, I don't know what you're used to finding in bags like these, but if you're here hoping to find out how to grow conophytum bilobum from seeds, then stick the f around because this bag contains just what we need to make that happen, Captain. Oh my gosh. Hey there, I'm Smith Kingston, houseplant guru extraordinaire. Joining us today, we have Gab Monster, yeah. Logan Bootler, yeah. and the strikingly attractive Lady Space Cowgirl. Dude, like none of that rhymes with Captain. Okay, lads and ladies, I'm hoping that this video is the first of several videos documenting a long and fruitful journey over the course of which my salty green friends and I grow some pretty cool, very unusual, and motherfucking gorgeous succulents known commonly as living pebbles and known scientifically as conophytum bilobum from seeds. And yeah, as I said, my witty green companions and I do hope that this will be a series of videos, but I'm gonna level with you. This could well be a one hit wonder because the truth is, while I've got lots of experience multiplying succulents from cuttings and from leaf propagation, and while I have grown lots of other non-succulents from seeds, this is my very first time attempting to grow any kind of a succulent from seeds. From what I've read on the internet, it is kind of a tricky process, but I have done some research. And I'm like 78% sure that all of this is going to work out just fine. Either way, this will be a fun little experiment. So yeah, without any further ado, the tools necessary for the seeding of conophytum bilobum succulents are a couple of non-porous but draining containers, a quick draining potting soil, preferably a cactus mix, some sand, a couple of larger Ziploc bags, a water distribution system, and last but not least, a suspiciously tiny Ziploc bag. Seeds? Well, yeah, like, duh. And yeah, while generally I do prefer to buy my plants in person, I ordered this particular bag of seeds on the internet. I've been watching the shelves of all my favorite stores for pretty much any kind of a conophytum plant for a while now, but haven't seen any like anywhere. But then a lovely lass by the name of Antoinette V suggested, hey, why not just buy some seeds? That could be like a fun video idea. And now here we are. So yeah, shout out to Antoinette because that's a pretty fucking great idea. And and also apology to Antoinette because it did take me quite a while to actually get around to making this video. But hey, let's be real, I am a procrastinator. Oh, yeah. Hey, anyway, let's get to it. First, let's pack our cactus mix into our non-porous draining containers. We are using a cactus mix because once these conophytums have matured, they are going to need a quick draining soil in order to keep their roots from rotting due to excess moisture in their container. Also, because we are starting these little green someday babies from seeds, I sterilized this particular pile of cactus mix by microwaving it for 3 minutes and 33 seconds earlier today. Listen, I know what you're wondering and the answer to your question is yes there was a smell it wasn't a bad smell but it wasn't really a good smell either the word that comes to mind is funky like I guess a toxic toast kind of a smell okay now that we've packed some cactus mix down to about a half an inch below the brim of the container let's sprinkle about an eighth of an inch of sand across the top of our cactus mix Probably any kind of sand will do, but I'm using a number 20 silica sand in the hopes that the evenly sized granules will help to aerate the soil in order to help with the development of the roots of our future succulent babies. Okay, now let's moisten the contents of our containers with the water distribution system of your choice. I'm going to use this water-filled home and garden sprayer since I already have it set up and handy for the moistening of my succulent leaf propagation trays, but any kind of sprayer or waterer will do the trick. Okay, now that the cactus mix under the sand in our non-porous but draining containers is nice and soggy, let's grab our suspicious looking itty bitty Ziploc bag and add the seeds. 
I put nine seeds in one container and six in the other, though while conducting research on the internet, I did read that you can add as many as 100 seeds into containers of this size. I planted many fewer seeds though, mostly in order to avoid having to repot them so quickly down the road, and also mostly because I don't have 100 seeds. This part was very difficult because I wasn't sure how exactly to get the precise number of seeds from the bag to the container. and in the right position. The method that in the end I settled on was to wet the non-business end of my magical paintbrush and then inserting it into the bag until one of the seeds would stick to the wet end of the paintbrush and then very carefully knocking the seed off the end of the paintbrush in what I hoped would be the right area. Alrighty, now let's seal these freshly seeded containers into some slightly less suspicious looking larger Ziploc bag. This is in order to keep the soil in the containers from drying out. And yeah, the idea of doing anything to seal moisture into soil that contains succulents does feel very weird to me. But the research that I conducted does indicate that this is actually the right thing to do. It's kind of ironic to consider that while these conditions would definitely kill adult conophytums, as seedlings, these plants need to be kept in very consistently moist conditions. And down the road, as their needs change, we will gradually acclimate them to drier conditions. As far as temperature is concerned, I plan to keep these freshly potted seeds in a place where the temperature stays between 60 and 65 degrees Fahrenheit. It is recommended to start these plants from seeds in the fall in order to ensure the right levels of temperature and humidity. Here's the thing though, I didn't want to wait till then. And because this video is being filmed in the northern hemisphere in the middle of June, I'm going to try to achieve those conditions artificially. As far as sunlight is concerned, for now I plan to keep these fresh potted bags beauties out of direct sunlight and in a moderate level of indirect sunlight. And over the course of the next few weeks, I'll check on them periodically and maybe add some moisture if it seems like they need it. And yeah, because again, it is better to start conophytum bilobum seeds in the fall, I didn't plant all these seeds just yet. While this bag was only supposed to contain 15 seeds, it actually ended up containing closer to, I don't know, somewhere between 90 and 700 seeds. So I think I'll plant the rest of them in actual fall. That that way, I guess I'll get kind of a second chance just in case shit goes tits up with this particular syndicate of seedlings. And I don't plan on sealing this bag just yet in order to allow any moisture to escape due to the fact that my method for removing seeds from the bag involved inserting the moistened non-business end of this paintbrush into the bag. Real quick, about these containers. We use non-porous containers as opposed to breathable terracotta containers for a reason. Now, while it would be okay to pop mature conophytum plants into porous terracotta containers, we started these seeds in glazed ceramic containers in order to help ensure a consistent level of moisture during the germination period. Also, these are draining containers. And we're using draining containers because we're not stupid ass dumb shit who do shit like fucking around by potting any kind of houseplant directly into a non-draining container. Hi, if you're curious how these cute little seedy bitches are getting along, then check out this video, because I plan on keeping all you lads and ladies up to date as I track the progress of these future Bulba Screen beauties and acclimate them into more sunlight and drier conditions and watch them grow and all. And if by some chance I just pointed to the empty corner of your cell phone screen, my sincerest apologies. The fact is, I probably just haven't gotten around to making that video yet. So cool it, geez. Or it's because Smitty screwed up real bad and none of the seeds survived. I mean, yeah, I hope it doesn't come to that, but that also is a very real possibility. But hey, we're all learning here, right? So, you know, I'll let you know. I'll be sure. Or I won't. Hey, listen, do you like bad graffiti, worse jokes, wacky macrame, and pretty good advice about taking care of your houseplants? Well then fucking subscribe. Hey, it's Logan Bootler. That's right. Click that notification bell too so you never miss a new video.